Hi guys, it's Little Lige coming at you, uh, and today I wanted to talk about a concept in group work or who you call the covering. Now, when we refer to someone being covered, we're referring to them being empowered by spirit, protected by spirit, in touch with their own inner spirit, and basically being um, spiritually right, spiritually balanced. Now, the term covering or being covered is a very old conjure term. Uh, this isn't something that you'll find in a lot of the, the newer works on conjure magic or group work or hoodoo because it is a very, very old term and I'm betting it's probably primarily just found in the Appalachian region, in West Virginia, Virginia, Tennessee, that kind of area. Um, probably as far as I can tell, it didn't make its way out into some of the more commercial uh, aspects of Kudu. Now, when someone is covered, this it has a lot of different implications and a lot of different uh, tweaks to what it may mean. Ryan Fox would talk about his mother's midwife, who was one of the women that taught his mother conjure work, uh, as uh, being covered, and she represented this covering, the spiritual protection, by wearing all white. And uh, when she wore all white, she was able to keep it pristine and uh, clean, even though she may go digging in the dirt, and uh, as a midwife would be exposed to lots of, of um, not clean scenarios. So uh, this is one aspect to the covering. And it's a very physical representation of um, protection. And this protection occurs when you are in touch and empowered by your own spirit. Not only is it you being in touch with your spirit, but it's your spirit also being in touch with the greater spirit, um, with divinity, with God, with the universe, whatever you want to call it. Um, traditionally in Conjure, uh, since it is a primarily Protestant tradition, Protestant Christian tradition, this would be God. Um, my grandmother called this uh, aspect, the, the covering, um, it, she called it more in alignment with the Holy Spirit. While she did use the terms covering uh, to be covered, this was more only the aspect of it being uh, of a person being protected spiritually, that their people have their eyes on them and are keeping them from harm. So, um, which is one aspect to being covered, and probably the primary aspect that you want to focus on when you're just beginning in concert work. You want to make sure that you're in the right alignment with your own spirit, that you're in the right alignment with, um, uh, with your path, and that you're filled with enough energy of the spirit to keep you protected. Basically, if your glass is all the way full, then it doesn't have room for anything else to come into it. If you're filled with the spirit, if you're filled with this positivity, there's no room for crap to stick to you, to um, accrue in your glass. It's one way of keeping you clean. Now, um, it's very, very important to recognize this aspect of group work, this aspect of kudu, as being a very spiritual aspect. It's not just the practical. If you're only approaching it for the aspects of protection, you're missing out on a really wonderful spiritual relationship with your own spirit, with yourself, that could occur. And it's that relationship that, in my humble opinion, should inform the vast majority of your practice. Now, how do you achieve this covering? Well, one way of achieving this covering is through prayer and meditation, or prayerful meditation. Basically, by turning your awareness inward, away from the physical world, away from the tangible, and turning it deep, deep, deep into your soul, and then even past your soul to the place where your soul meets your spirit. And then even further to the place where your spirit meets, meets the greater spirit. Um, I've heard this term referred to as uh, arriving on the throne of God or sitting at the throne of God, sitting at the feet of God. 
And this is a very mystical experience. This is very much about pushing your own awareness past um, personal understanding and going deeply into the transpersonal, deeply into the awareness of the greater spirit. Once you move into that space and you take that that connection with you, you take that aspect on, you bring that aspect back with you, then you experience what we call the covering. As long as you have this open line of communication, as long as you have this working, we'll say kismet, with uh, the greater spirit, with the universe, with God, however it is you want to term it, once you have this connection, then you become open and ready to receive the covering. And you receive this covering, in, once again, in my opinion, by simply asking, but you have to ask from that place of protection, or excuse me, of connection. You ask for protection from the place of connection. With that being said, um, I say, go find yourself a quiet spot, sit in quiet, prayerful meditation, Reach deep inside yourself, past your physical body into your soul, past your soul into your spirit, and follow that spirit into the presence of the greater spirit. And from this place, bring back that connection, bring back that sensation, that feeling, that experience of divine, limitless love. And when you come back, you'll be halfway to... Uh, experiencing what we call the covering. The other half is basically asking for it. Thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know if you like it. And I hope you are all having a very, very blessed day.